All right, we're going to tie another salmon fly. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the last one, uh, that Silver Doctor video, that a, a a good a good a good alternate first fly would be, say, the Durham Ranger, because that has like a tippet wing instead of a instead of a married wing. Um, I'm not going to do a Durham Ranger. If you want a Durham Ranger video. Uh, Davy McPhail has a great one up. In fact, the, the first one I tied, I used his video uh, as a basis for it. But we're going to tie one that's, I, I think it's it's a lot easier than the Dorm Ranger. It's easier than the Silver Doctor, but it has a tippet wing. And it's basically just a really good fly to just uh, break you into a, a, a feather wing, a full feather wing. And the name, name of the fly is called another great beauty and it's a it's a blacker fly so uh blacker he had a whole bunch of flies that really didn't have any names and i don't know if he named that another great beauty because i think there's a great beauty there might even be a beauty um but may maybe somebody else named but i don't know i don't know for sure exactly how the name came about but this one is referred to as another great beauty and it's a, it's a pretty simple fly in fact i could probably throw a, a picture up uh, from uh, probably uh, riding kitsch and the, the the hook we're going to use here is uh, is this one here so this is a sprite right it's a single this is a 2-0 now if you remember the last one we tied was smaller than that way smaller that was the one we used in the, in the silver doctor and this uh, this sprite one is actually made by partridge and uh, it's a really cheap way to get into some hooks. Uh, these aren't bad. I mean, I, I tell you this, what is this, 25 hooks in this thing? And I, I don't even think it's 10 bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. The thread I'm going to start out with. Now, oh, one other thing I guess I should mention is I never tied this fly before. Uh, it's not a very hard fly, so I don't think I should have any trouble. Uh, but I have never tied it before. So yeah, we're gonna start out with this this white Danville Tenno, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start, um, you know, what? I'm gonna start right behind this bend. If you look, this one's got that bent eye that we're gonna have to make up for. So I'm gonna start right behind that, and we'll just go down. So the tag on this is a gold tinsel. I'm going to use a wire, a small gold wire. I think that'll be fine. I think I just want to go back here. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Now when we put this on, just like that silver doctor, we got to make up that space. So I'm putting a good amount on of waste. Tie in. Now the first turn is going to be on the bear hook, and then I'm going to wrap forward and pretty tight. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. Make sure this is on my side. Then we're going to go up. And part of this tag is uh, like a green floss. Just making sure this gold wire is there. And we're not going to do it too much, right to the point. Let's make sure this wire is... That's good. The green floss I'm using here is this uh, four strand. This is rayon, which is garbage, but it's the only thing I have that's close to this color. So all we're using is one strand. I'm going to put it on again. F 
full length of the hook. I'm going to go back. You can already see why crayon is garbage. Frays very easily. Just get right up against that wire. spring yeah I think we'll be all right see if you notice there what I did quickly I when it frayed all I did was pull the phrase forward and when I did that um, it allowed me to you know basically tamp them down on the next turn I think we're okay here the tail is his golden pheasant crest. I think I think I'm just gonna use I think I'm just gonna use one. Now again, we watched my my uh, my silver doctor video. I kind of like to I like this distance to be kind of like the hook bend distance, and I don't like it too much past. But I have to remember. This has an inside jungle cock eye that comes back pretty far. So let's put it on right here and we'll take a look at it. Just drop some super glue on this thread and then put those two turns back in. Sometimes you can put the extra turns in, you don't even realize you're doing it. So sometimes just you got to go back just to get the turns off. The next part right here is, is an ostrich hurl. If you can get a hold of something called mini hurl, and you think you got to order it from, from uh, John McClain there, uh, Feathers MC. Essentially, if you, it, this isn't it. Um, I just happen to have a lot of hurl and I just found some thin stuff. But if you look here, it might be tough to tell, but this side is extremely thin. If you compare it to this right here, very thick. You don't want this thick stuff. You want the thin stuff. So mini hurl is really good because it's, 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 um, it's all very thin. That's what you want. You, you don't really want the thick stuff. You, you want it to match the fly is what you really want, but rarely ever does the thick stuff match the fly. And the way I put this on is I try and make the inside, there's an inside to it. It looks like that. That's exaggerated, but I want the inside on this side. And sometimes it can be tough to do that. Uh, the reason I want that is because if you do it the other way, it kind of collapses on itself and doesn't look very good. And I don't use any super glue. Um, super glue, I feel like, can screw some things up there. Some people like to just put super glue. And when you when you wrap it down, it 
it sticks to it. You don't have to worry about it slipping. Well, I don't really like to do that because if I screw it up, then you can't go back. All right, now I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up and I'm going to come back down. Uh, yeah, we'll tie this in. And once we get back here, we're going to go, once we get to the top, I mean, we're going to go back. <clears throat> and we're going to, we're not going to go back too far though. We're going to only go back till we're flat. And then we're going to go forward again. Now, the first part of this body is, it's kind of like a bluish, purplish color floss. Uh, I just have this purple. That's what I'm going to use. I think it'll be fine. And it has to be, it has to be, it has to be, it looks like I got a little, there we go. It has to be a little bit longer than this tag color. All right, it's got to be a little bit longer than that tag color. So right about here looks decent. And once again, we're only using one strand out of the four strands. We're going to go the full length again, too. Even though we sort of made up that gap already, we're going to go the full length again. We're holding it on with two turns right here. That's it. We got to make sure we get right up against that hurl. We double check. Yeah, looks good. Cut that the full length again. Now I think I am going to go up with this again all the way to the eye and then back. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in this, this tinsel. This is actually just mylar. I'm not using real tinsel on this. This is just a gold and silver mylar. You can see the thickness here. It's sort of like, almost like it's it's thinner than the amount of turns I did a hurl. And it's, we're going to tie it on the, the full length. Just got that on with one turn. Right? And it's sort of close to the bottom. And then we're also going to tie in a hackle. So, and the hackle is supposed to match the floss that's on this part of the body, which is uh, this color right here. So it's like a wine color. This looks like it. They don't look like very good quality though. Maybe I gotta use two of them. Yeah. That should work. But I do think I should use two. Yeah, so we're going to use two. And we're going to tie them in tip first. And we're, we're really kind of just barely tying them in because I don't, I don't really have good long feathers here. 
This is really all I have. I have two that they're not even the same length here. So we're gonna we're gonna do do what we gotta do here to get it in. Okay. Now All right, so that's in. So now we're we're going to go up. Okay. So we've got our two hackles ready. We got our tinsel ready and this tinsel I'm just going to tuck in. I'm going to use two strands on this just to make it go faster, but I have to say, I have to warn you about using two strands. It can be, it can be more trouble than it's worth. It really can sometimes, um, but we're going to give it a shot. It frays easier. Uh, why? I don't know. But you got to take off a real long, definitely take off as, as, as much as you feel comfortable taking off. Put it on with a few turns. Now remember you got two now. And you're just going to have to... Just watch what you're doing. You have to throw over the waist. Just like throw it over your your vice. Try and keep those the two strands as close as possible. Now if you can see I'm catching a hackle there but I don't think it's gonna matter. We're just gonna go right over it. This is where you gotta be careful. Now from here, I'm going to cut this off. Hmm. Should have did this earlier, that's for sure. Now let's go up. Let's keep on wrapping. And that'll be it. Now, if we want, right now we can switch the black. This is just a Giorgio Benici. I think this is considered 16-0 with the strength of 8-0. Um, so we're going to bring up the tinsel first. That's the best move. And I don't know how many wraps this is going to be. Let's find out. What is that? That's five? For me, let's hope I got enough hackle to put five turns in. Now, this is sort of dangerous to do this right now, but you're gonna do what's called doubling. You're gonna double them. The reason it's dangerous right now is because you got this thing tied in. If you break them, you kind of you kind of out of luck. <laughs> you got to go back, but you know it is what it is. I 
with double them that much. So now all we're going to do is just follow the tinsel and just, you know, say a little prayer for the amount <laughs> of stem that you have. It looks like we are going to make it. I may even do one more. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. So I just put a few turns in there to hold it. I clip off the stem. Brush these back. And then tie it in good. Yeah. Now, th these hackles are really only supposed to be on the, the bottom. So, you got to kind of... You got to kind of brush them down. If it looks like one, you're trying to pull one from the wrong side, just push it back. They'll go. I mean, it, it takes a while, but they'll go. And... Um, if there's, you know, a couple ones that just don't really want to go, then just, just yank them out. All right. That's good. We'll just leave it at that for now. Now, the last thing we got to do is put the throat in. Last thing, last, last part of the body, I mean. And the throat is, is, um, this feather right here. It's called, um, it's it's like a it's almost like an Asian blue jay. It's called Eurasian jay. At least that's what we call it in fly tying. And uh, one of the things about this, there's there's a bunch of different types of feathers. It, they, these come from the wing, and some have the 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 blue only on one side, right? But some, and usually it's only one feather per wing, have the the blue on both sides. It doesn't matter which one you, you take. We're gonna take off. The part that you don't want is the part that has the gray where it meets the stem. So you take off as much as you have to, and then basically you're left with this. See that? Just this part. And then you bring them all out 90 degrees. Double check your length right now. It looks okay. And then, once you get them out 90 degrees, just uh, you match up the tips. And then... So now we're just pinching it underneath and bringing it straight up. I think I might have missed catching a few here, but it should be okay. I think that's good. And this, any of these, sometimes these things pop up again. That's why I put two hackles on, because if I want to rip them out, I can, and I'll still have enough. All right, so let me readjust this this uh, this camera a little bit here, and we can we can start putting this wing on. Uh, okay, so the, the the wing on this consists of a few things, and the first is, is a jungle cock, which normally you see them on the outside. This one, uh, like the ranger, has it on the inside of the wing, not the outside. So I got two two eyes right here. Now I have straight ones. You see this, not curved. So when you look at when you look at like the neck right here. You, you'll see that there's a there's a curved side, and there's a curved side, and then in the center they're pretty straight. I try and take them from the center when I use when, when I put them inside of a wing, and the reason I do that is because I I want them to just be straight right through. See that? I I don't want there to be any curve to them to to miss the center because I really want them to come right out of the center of the tippet. And that's another thing you should do is, is that we make sure that when we put this tippet on, which I have here ready to go, goes on here, that that the 
that the eyes aren't going to overshadow the tippet. And I don't think they are. I don't think they are. And I'm going to make that the tippet. We can look at that too. I'm going to make it kind of go right there. So, if I'm going to go right there, then I kind of want the eyes to go to the middle of the tail. See that? So if the eyes go to the middle of the tail, they just stick out. So something, something like that. So we get this, get most of this fluff off. Because we don't want the fluff to stick out. A little bit of fluff is okay, but you don't want it to go you don't want to you don't want it to stick out past the the tippet because remember the tip the tippet is sort of making this make is like the bread of the sandwich the tippet is yeah I would say that's all right so now what we can do is we cut these off pretty close it uh, and then you put them through this eye it seems a little ridiculous but if you do that they don't get in the way All right make sure they're lined up make sure they're at the right length and you see how I grabbed them and the, and the stems are through there Yeah, it just went on really easy. It's because the stems are on the inside, the inside of that eye. And I would say, I, I almost want to say it's a little too short. And it's really easy to adjust it. You can kind of just... You don't want it to go too, too much. Do two turns, make sure that those stems are on there forever, and then we can kind of just bend them a hair. And that, that'll crease them. Just give it a little lift. And we'll keep an eye on this fluff right here. Some of this might have to come off. See this right here? This looks a little bit long to me. So let's say it's on there like that. What you do is you grab you grab the eyes. Make sure you grab the eyes. Don't try and do this without grabbing the eyes. Because if you it's a real good chance you'll, you'll wreck everything. There it is. Now the two the two tippets. We got one. We got one there and one on the other side. You can try and put them on together. It can be difficult though because don't forget you got to get them. You got to get those eyes in between. But essentially, what's going to happen is is that it's going to look like like that. So if we take. Try and do your side first. We'll get the length, which I think is right there. And we'll just cut off the end. Get the length just right. Put it on with two turns. I like that. I think that's all right. Then we'll look at this one. This one looks like we need just a hair off the end of there. Line it up. Get it on top. And then if you're seeing that the stem is, is riding 
you can flick it with your needle get it into place don't do any turns too close to the eye yeah that's all right Now the next part is this uh, wood duck flank. See this? Need a right and a left. And uh, we'll do your side first. So this is this is your side. And all we're doing is we're taking a slip, and it's really not not big. See what I got here? I think is too much. That might be all right. So let's take off. You hold it like that and just tear it. You want to keep that skin on because the skin actually keeps together. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna go pretty far back. It's gonna go pretty far back. Yeah. Try and keep it. Oh, oh, almost caught some hackle there. Yeah. So this has got a pretty good curve to it. So let's let's take that off. Good. And I'll oop, did I just jump it? That's alright. And we don't need that. Okay. And we'll get oh yeah, I did jump it. So when I hit the bottom with my my hand I jumped it. But I think it's fixable. So now, let's, I just got a text from John, Bonacera, and it's something fly related. It's probably something good. Maybe I'll look at it. Let's just make sure we got these even here. Yeah. I want to look at that text, and I, I think my dogs are whining. My dogs are whining. Here we go. Two. Yeah. So, will I be able to? Yeah. Let's do it like that. Go up. And we're gonna just tie that in. And we take the razor blade. And we just go straight down. Though it can be kind of a pain, you know, I put those stems through there. Well, it, you gotta kind of, you, you, you take them and you push them up and you just get the needle and you just pop them out. Yeah, seems to be okay. Now the only thing we got left is, uh, is the crust on top. And uh, I think mm -hmm. 
think that we obviously need it a little bit shorter than that. That's all I'm doing. Super glue. We'll tie this in forever. Take a look at these crests and make them look good. We just gotta wet, let, let it dry just a little bit here. So right now we'll cut these stems off. Need to put the hurl on and we're done. So the hurl is um, the same as the back. And the same way we put it on the back too, we're just going to turn it on. So that the inside's facing the back of the fly. You get a few turns on there. And should be good. Anything sticking out we can we can cut. And then look at that thing that whip finishes. The whip finishing tool. And we will put on a few turns. Take that off. And then we will immediately put on some head cement in there. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's looking a little bit better. If you got any weird hairs, you can... Another kind of maybe a, a good change to this one would be you could put two layers of of tippet on here, not offset like a Durham Ranger where you'd see another bar. I mean, just two on top of each other. It'd give you a little bit of a darker wing. I don't. I don't think it matters. Though. I want something small like this. Here's the other side. Yeah. All right. So there it is. That is a, uh, another great beauty. Uh, it's a blacker pattern. 
I would say it's a it's a it's a pretty easy one. Never tied this one before, but um, I mean, if you can tie a Durham Ranger, obviously you could tie this. But this is definitely one to try before you try the Durham Ranger, without a doubt. Go for this one first, and then go for the Durham Ranger. All right, thanks a lot.